Mr. Bass here with another fishing backpack review. And this is a pretty sweet one by Lunker Hunt. This is called the LTS Avid Backpack. One of the things that uh, I really like about this Avid series is they are rugged. They're very rugged and they're also uh, they also think about the elements. Most of their bags are either waterproof or very water resistant. There are actually four different bags in this Avid lineup. There's this one here, which is the biggest. It's a 48 liter backpack for fishing. They also have the LTS Tackle backpack, which is a little smaller, but it's got more features. And I did a video on the LTS Tackle backpack, and I will put it here for you to take a look at. Then they also have what they call the LTS Avid Duffel Bag. And that looks like a pretty sweet bag. I've not looked at it personally, nor have I looked at the final bag in their lineup, which is the LTS Avid Satchel Ships. Now it's a small tackle bag that you kind of sling over your shoulder, but uh, it's got some nice features as well and is also water resistant, which I think is pretty handy. This bag here, the actual LTS Avid Backpack, comes in two colors. This is the gray model. And then they also have a green model. And the green looks pretty cool as well. I kind of It was kind of hard to decide which to get because I really like the look of both of them. As I said, this does have, uh, it's completely waterproof. It has... Uh, waterproof coated a fabric. This is a TPE fabric that is waterproof coated. It has a roll top opening. And really roll top is the only way to go if you want 100% waterproof reliability. And this of course just has a really nice roll down feature. One thing I like about this, instead of going like this and latching, which always was just kind of a little odd, they have a latch on both sides. So you just do it here and here. And that keeps you down and then they also have another strap that goes over the top and that's how you close up the bag now it's completely waterproof all your contents are completely dry to me the waterproof feature is pretty important because I fish in all weathers and all elements and I have gotten caught in a lot of downpours where my tackle gets completely soaked so even if it doesn't have as many features as some of the other bags pr my preference is usually going to be to lean towards a waterproof bag or one that at least has a rain cover on it. This one doesn't have a rain cover because it's completely waterproof. What are some of the other features of this bag? One, it has a loop here that's designed for a carabiner. They provide you with a cheap carabiner, but you can put other carabiners in there as well, which is always nice to have something like that to attach to. It also has this webbing and a very sturdy, very stout molly webbing that is sewed into the front of this bag and it would hold a lot of attachments, a lot of items for sure. It also has two rod holders on the, on the back side of this pack and they look pretty decent. Let me grab my fishing rod and let's see how it fits in this bag. Okay, the, these two uh, loops, there's two here and two here are for the fishing rod to hold the fishing rod in place but as you notice they're reflective it has reflective tape on them so that's going to be uh, that's a nice safety feature feature to have depending upon if you're walking around traffic and things like that avoid the lights up there drop her in these are velcro straps And there you have it. Pretty handy way to carry a rod if you're looking for a rod with rod holders. The other Lunker Hunt bag that I reviewed also had rod holders as well, as I recall. So, good feature. There are no pockets on the outside of this bag, and that is probably a deal killer for some people. But what you've got to remember is the main function of this bag is complete waterproof protection. 
it has on the bottom, it's the same exact material, that TPU uh, coated waterproof fabric. And there are a couple of straps that go along the bottom. And you could use these straps for a bedroll. You could use them for your rain gear, uh, jackets, coats. Those are actually nice. I wish they put straps like this on the bottom of all bags because, quite frankly, you can always use a little bit more uh, attachment space on a bag. If you go over to the side here, there is a zipper, and this is a, a sealed seam, uh, taped seam zipper that's waterproof that goes down the side of the bag. And that's for your valuables, your cell phone, anything that you have on you that you want to stay dry and you also want to have accessibility to. You've got this one zipper pocket, but there are literally no other pockets on this bag on the outside. There is, though, a water bottle holder right here. And we'll take the 16 ounce water bottle, see how it fits in there. It fits very well and you can also put a much larger water bottle in that uh, holder if you want it. Then when you get on the back side, these are typical shoulder straps. I would not say that they're any beefier than the other bags I've looked at. They are decent sized straps and they do have uh, mesh webbing on the back for comfort. Built into this shoulder strap is a place for your tools, your pliers. So that's where their integrated plier holder goes. Put my trusty needle nose in there and works great. I actually like that, especially on a floppy bag. This is a floppy bag. It doesn't have, it doesn't have any structure to hold it up. The only thing that's going to hold it up is the boxes that you put inside it. So on a floppy bag, where do you put pliers, you know, uh, tools? The shoulder strap makes a lot of sense, actually. Especially if you're going to actually wear the bag while you're fishing, then it really makes a ton of sense to have that there. So it's a good pocket. You know, the other thing, the one thing that I would ask is, if you're going to put one, why not put another one on this side? You know, uh, just stuff like that would be nice. On the back, it does have padding. It's got these six mesh raised panels that feel like a, a, a high density firm foam that uh, will give you some ventilation on your back, which is nice. And it has a carrying handle, and this carrying handle is just a piece of strap. It's just basic. So what's inside the bag? That's pretty much the outside in a nutshell. Let's uh, unclip it and unroll it and show you what is inside this bag. It comes with two Lunker Hunt 3700 series tackle trays. It would hold quite a few more than that because it's just one big cavernous bag, 48 liters worth of bag. That's a lot. So you could put a lot of boxes in here, but there are no internal pockets at all. It's just one big honking waterproof bag. So if you're a guy that really likes organization, loves the pockets and the zippers and all those kind of things, this is not the bag for you. It just doesn't have any. It's got one waterproof pocket on the outside and that's it. But it does have attachment points and guaranteed your stuff is going to stay dry. The price for this bag is $149.99. That's right, $150 for just a big wide open bag. But that waterproof construction is, is costly. And this is a very durable, solid bag. You can tell it is just very, very solid. Uh, I'll, I'll wrap up with just giving you the dimensions. It's 19 inches tall. It's 14 inches wide and it's 10 inches deep. So it definitely is a, a, a bigger bag. And let me show you, I'll roll this down really quick and then just kind of show you how it compares size wise to this Flambeau Heritage bag that I previously reviewed. As the, the Flambeau Heritage bag is, is a beast of a bag. So here's how they compare sidewise. You can see 
very close in overall height, width. Uh, this flambeau bag is a little deeper. And of course the flambeau has tons more storage options if that's what you're into. But there are not many high quality waterproof fishing tackle bags out there. And uh, without a doubt, that's the number one selling feature. I hope this was helpful. If you have this bag, please uh, put on the comments, share with us what you think of the bag. If you found this review of this tackle bag helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel, smash that like button, hit the notification bell to find out when I'm going to post my next Mr. Bass video, which is very frequently. Thanks again for supporting and watching the channel. And until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing!